Hello friends. So today we are going to use Legos to find the area and perimeter of a shape that we're going to, to create. So this shape can be a rectangle, a square, or an irregular shape. So I'm just going to show you an example of what I'm going to do. So here is my Lego shape. I'm also going to have a piece of paper. And you guys are going to do this on your own. We're going to do it with a group first and then you're going to do it on your own. So I have area. So I have A equals and then I have a P equals for perimeter. So this is an irregular shape, right? First, I'm going to have to find the area. How do you think I'm going to find the area? Area is what's inside. Perimeter. We're going to kind of do a practice run as a group or with a partner before I ask you to do your own flip oh, okay. okay. So what I've done is I've put my name. So go ahead and put your name. When you have finished putting your name on your paper, I just want you to touch your nose so I'll know. So. Just so we remember what area and perimeter is, I want everybody to stand up. Let's see if we can remember our motions that help us remember. Okay, ready? Mirror words, mirror words. I know that perimeter is. I know that perimeter is. What's on the outside? Mirror words, I know what area is. Okay, one thing that we also need to cover before we start. If I can get your attention over here, we have our I can statements. Remember what our I can statements are. This is what you should be able to do by the time. Your words. First, I will. First, I will. Create my shape. Second. I'm going to find the area and perimeter. Third. Okay, so 30 seconds and you're just going to point to the person that's your partner. Ready, set, go. Okay, class, class. Now you know who your partner is. I'm going to set a timer. I'm going to set a timer for seven minutes. I did this with the last class and it took them about seven minutes. Okay? So, what was the first step? Uh, oh, shape. Good. Create your shape. Then, with your partner, you're going to find area perimeter. That's all we're doing right now. Two steps. Ready? I'll be walking around if you need help. Go. Ready? So. So four times two, then there's another four times seven. So I can put four times four equals sixteen. Then on the perimeter, I can do four, four plus four plus four plus four. Why well, I do four times four equals sixteen? And, and then I did four plus four plus four plus four. I still got sixteen. Awesome. So you double checked with adding the yes. perimeter. Awesome job, Carson.